Annick Labinda is a dairy farmer. She used to carry her milk on foot to the depot seven kilometers away. But now she can cycle there in half the time. The milk arrives fresh and so she earns more money. In the past, I was getting only maybe two to three hundred kwacha per month. But right now I can get you one thousand and above. Because I have a bicycle that I use to take my product to the market, my milk to the market. So I have a lot of money and my life has changed. When you buy the bike, you also get a mobile phone. You can then use mobile money to pay the small instalments. It costs around $10 a month, spread over a year. It's the idea of a former telecoms executive, Weissen Lungu. He saw how important a bike could be when his car broke down in a remote rural area and he had to be rescued by a cyclist. The things we take for granted in, in the urban areas in town I really a struggle uh, in the in the in the villages, you know. So it's one of those where it kept on probing my heart to say, what can I do to try and bridge uh, this gap between the haves and the have-nots? Eighty-three percent of Zambia's rural population live more than two kilometres from a good road. So a robust bike can cut down journey times to school and get people to health facilities more quickly. So far, Wisen sold over 600 bikes. But he's been overwhelmed by the demand. When we're arriving with the car, they start running to the car. You know, they surround the car. Then, you know, they are chanting, they are singing. It's just amazing. And then you realize what a bicycle can do is a lifesaver for, for somebody in the rural area and it's a catalyst for unlocking so much potential.